to create something like this, firstly we need to create some mesh. No, not this mesh, but this. A polygon mesh is a collection of vertices, edges and faces. Basically mesh is just a bunch of triangles that create some model. So let's get started. So we go to Epic Games Launcher, Launch in Real Engine, choose blank project, select C++ type, name it Diamond Square CPP and hit create button. 2000 years later. Okay, so we created a new project. Now let's create a new level. To do this, I click content, level, let's call it main. I will also copy some items from this starting level. Ctrl C, open our main level. Ctrl V. So now we should create our terrain class. To do this, we go to content drawer and click C++ classes and click uh, new C++ class. And uh, parent class is actor because we want to place it on our scene and let's name it uh, diamond square and uh, make it public and uh, hit create button you see that our class was successfully created now i want to remove all comments and uh, set uh, big and ever tick to false because uh, we don't really need to do anything every frame click save and go to unreal engine and uh, click live coding so Unreal enable all our changes. Okay, live coding succeeded. Now let's go to content browser and uh, create a new blueprint uh, class uh, derived from our C++ class. Let's call it BP Diamond Square. And uh, I click create blueprint class. And uh, our class was successfully created. Now let's place our BP Diamond Square actor on our scene. I hit uh, play and nothing happens because uh, our class is uh, completely empty now. Now we need to add procedural mesh component to our class. To do this we go to ash file, create a private section and uh, create new variable of type u procedural mesh component. Let's name it uh, procedural mesh and uh, also we should use uh, forward declaration for u procedural mesh component uh, class because uh, our ash file doesn't know about uh, this uh, class. I click uh, save and uh, go back to CPP file. Now in our CPP file we should include procedural mesh component. If uh, Visual Studio complains about uh, this, you should go to source, open build.cs file, copy procedural mesh component and uh, paste uh, it uh, here. Click save. And after some time, Visual Studio won't uh, complain about this. Now we should go to our class constructor, type uh, procedural mesh, equals, uh, call function create default subobject, type is uh, u procedural mesh component. This function argument is uh, name that will be displayed uh, inside Unreal Engine, so I will just uh, print uh, procedural mesh. Then I type uh, procedural mesh again call function uh, setup attachment and uh, for parameter I pass uh, get root component function. Now let's uh, create a first triangle. To do this we go to begin play and uh, type uh, procedural mesh call function uh, create mesh section. To section index I will pass 0 because we have no more other sections. To vertices I will pass uh, vertices and uh, create this variable later. To triangles I will also pass triangles and create this variable later. To other parameters I will just pass their classes with uh, default constructor. And the last parameter is responsible for generating collision and uh, I will pass uh, true because I want our mesh to have collision. Now let's uh, go to our ash file and uh, create our variables. Uh, firstly let's create vertices, then let's create triangles. And uh, also for convenience, let's add a uh, property to them. In uh, property, I will type edit anywhere, so we will be able to edit them inside uh, Unreal Engine. And uh, also in uh, vertices property, I will type this. Now because of this, we should be able to uh, see our vertices uh, in uh, Unreal Engine. I save everything and uh, go back to Unreal Engine. 
In Unreal Engine, I run live coding and uh, then I choose our BB Diamond Square actor and uh, let's create four vertices. For example, in coordinates 0, 0, 0, 100, 100, 0, and 100, 100. And you see that our four vertices were created. But when I hit play, nothing happens because uh, we only created vertices but uh, didn't uh, create any triangles. Now let's create a triangle using vertices 0, 1, and 2. So I print 0, 1, and 2. Hit play, and you see that our triangle is uh, generated. And uh, it is really important to create uh, triangles uh, counterclockwise. Let me show what happens when you create them clockwise. So instead of uh, 0, 1, 2, I will uh, print uh, 0, 2, 1. So I uh, create it uh, clockwise. I hit play. And it seems that nothing happens, but when I go under our terrain, you see that our triangle is uh, generated, but it generated upside down. And that's uh, not what we want. So that's why it's important to create uh, triangles uh, counterclockwise. Now let's uh, create a square. And uh, to do this, we just uh, should uh, create a second uh, triangle using vertices 1, 3 and uh, 2. So I just add three more elements to our array and uh, type uh, 1, 3 and uh, 2. Hit play and uh, you see that uh, we created a square. Let's add a material to our mesh. To do this we should uh, type uh, UV 0 instead of this. And uh, let's create this variable. We go to ash file and uh, in protected section. I will just copy this and paste. Instead of int, I will type f vector 2d, call it uv0, click save, and also we should go back to cpp file and uh, type uh, procedural mesh and the uh, call function called uh, set material. First argument is index i set it to 0, and the second argument is uh, material, so I type material and uh, now let's create this variable, go back to ash file and uh, copy this again, paste this, but instead of this I will type u material interface and instead of uv0 I will type material. Also we should uh, use uh, forward declaration for this class, save everything and uh, go back to Unreal. In Unreal I run live coding. Live coding succeeded. Now let's uh, choose material, uh, for example, ground grass. And uh, I hit play and you see that our terrain became green, but we want to see grass. So to do this, uh, we should uh, add uh, four elements to our UV zero array. Four because we have uh, four vertices and uh, assign them similarly to our vertices. So zero, zero. 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. I hit play, and you see that our terrain has grass. Actually, you can type any values you want here. For example, I can type uh, 88, and uh, hit play, and you see that our material is uh, pretty small. And I also can uh, type uh, 0 0.03, and the hit play and now our terrain has pretty big scale but i like to assign these variables to one so in this episode we generate a mesh and uh, in the next episodes i'm gonna create a flat terrain and uh, play with its heights a little bit if you enjoyed this video smash like and hit subscribe button and see you in the next videos